Aries, welcome to your just in time tarot reading. If you're watching this Aries, trust that there is a message here for you. If you're a regular, welcome back Aries. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Bronya. I'm an intuitive tarot reader and I'm looking forward to bringing you through this message. All right, Aries, I have pulled the, uh, uh, the card of Scorpio actually. It's time to release negativity. And so I was having a bit of a stumble there because I was just thinking, hey, we're in Scorpio season, right? Uh, Scorpio energy, right? You might be dealing with one, sun, moon, rising, Venus. You might have a significant uh, placement in Scorpio. Like for me, I'm in Aries and my moon is in Scorpio. But the Scorpio energy is linked to the death card um, and the king of cups in the, you know, the minor and major arcana. So it can be about time to shed old skins. It can be a time to release, to rebirth, let go, to liberate. There could be something that is toxic in your life that's causing negativity and it's time for that to, to come full circle. So let's keep going, Aries. All right, Team Aries, what have we got? I'm using the Divine Initiation Oracle and the Ethereal Alchemist Tarot today. I will link you to all of the beautiful decks that I use underneath this video in case you want to add them to your collection. So we've got Divergent. All right, when I see this card, it feels like there is maybe an alternate path opening, okay? Maybe just when you thought life was going this way, you know, we have some kind of, you know, divine intervention, which is redirection and a divergent path coming over here. So maybe if you release this negativity or let go of what isn't serving you, that is when we have this beautiful new path opening. Uh, number 36 adds to nine. And that is very close to some kind of ending or release. That brings you, yeah, exactly. Here's the nine, nine of cups. That brings you great happiness. I was pretty much going to say that. I mean, it's known as the wish fulfillment card and it might seem, okay, that's just really unrealistic that I'm going from this energy to that in the space of a week. And, you know, of course, these readings are not about that, Aries. It's really about getting you on the path towards this energy like the nine of cups wish fulfillment happiness contentment success in the emotional realms but there is something that is blocking you from accessing that and we are needing to take the divergent path all right yeah nine of cups and i think that there is a catalyst to this shift for you in the form of a nine of cups now the nine of cups um you know brings us an opportunity, a proposal, a message. It brings us the Ace of Cups, the potential for an emotional new beginning. Now, yes, it can be linked to, to love, but it's not, um, especially in a general collective reading, it's not limited to that. So the Knight of Cups can be, okay, there's this amazing new work offer, or, you know, how about, uh, you know, renting this home, and it puts you in a different area, which leads to a whole lot of other flow-on synchronicities. So you get the idea. I just feel like there is a new opportunity opportunity coming that's going to help you release that uh, negativity and lead you through to the nine of cups now the knight is the knight of cups is a pisces energy for me you could be dealing with a pisces and here's the beautiful ten of pentacles so the ten of pentacles i think is the foreshadowing for leading into this much more stable secure time but it's also indicating that in order to get to that we are also completing a cycle, right? So hence I'm like really tuning into that death card vibe. So this could be the end of a work contract, the end of a relationship, the end of like a, a rental uh, agreement or selling on a home. It's all those kinds of themes with the 10 of pentacles, which might have a bit of a bittersweet element. But again, this is the gateway. This is the gateway to your new beginning. And here goes the King of Cups. So we've got those Scorpio energies coming through again. It's time to make emotionally intelligent decisions here, Aries. You know, that is the King of Cups, right? And, um, you know, like I said, you might be getting advice even from a Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising or Venus with the, the King of Cups. And here we, we've got the minor and the major, the death card and the King of Cups coming right in. I'm just going to cover that card area. It's like it's a little bit suggestive and YouTube is not kind on that, unfortunately, but it's a beautiful card. So this really talks about transformation through the release through letting go and that it really opens you up 
to the sun energy, the new dawn, you know, the new path unfolding. So with the, the Knight of Cups, you know, how can you, you know, attract this new opportunity? Well, it's really about making that clear declaration within yourself. Okay, come on universe, bring it in. I am ready for this change. Often it's that shift in our personal energy that then, you know, really indicates to the universe, I'm ready bring it on in and that's when the divide that divergent path uh, opens i've just lost a candle there that might be significant areas you might feel like the light has gone out of a situation so we're looking at the ch a change in cycle it could be a 10-year cycle shift with the energy that i'm seeing coming through five of cups has come in and yeah that can be an energy of you know like grieving the loss of what we're needing to let go like whether you're choosing that or not it usually um you know like always has some sadness about it we remember all the good things but the five of cups also links to the two of cups meaning there will be the new partnership whether that is with a a person or an employer or you know an institution that's helping you in some way on the other side of this so seven of pentacles will leave it on this one aries it is time to evaluate and re-evaluate you know really what are you getting from the situation that you're in right now well it feels like it's causing you some kind of negativity right um and you know that is when that's in our energy field it impacts you know all of our other situations in life i think we're looking at the release of a long cycle whether it's in the one situation or you might have been through a series of situations that kind of have the same flavor we are closing the learning now closing that cycle and the knight of cups is some kind of catalyst or messenger of opportunity that should you choose this new path it leads you to some kind of hope dream or wish fulfilled Aries so hang in there I'm gonna leave it there if you'd like a personal reading to follow this up areas, please do jump down below the video. There's a link that'll take you across to my website where you can see what I offer and you can also explore um, other useful links down there as well. Sending you so much love and magic. Bye for now.